brothers charged after weapons, explosives, and a hit list of celeb targets found in New York. Following the discovery of a cache of homemade explosives, 3D printed firearms, anarchist literature, and a hit list containing prominent people, two brothers have been accused. U.S. officials have stated that 39-year-old Andrew Hatziagelis and 51-year-old Angelo Hatziagelis have been charged with 130 counts of different offenses, including suspected illicit possession and sale of firearms. After learning that the two were purchasing gun components and accessories and manufacturing illicit ghost guns, investigators took action against them. Ghost guns are firearms that don't have a serial number and are therefore untraceable. They can be bought online and assembled at home, gun violence prevention group, Brady, said on its website. Ghost gun kits include all of the parts and often the equipment necessary to build these weapons at home, Brady said. Detectives discovered a variety of weaponry, including two fully loaded ghost guns akin to AR-15s with detachable magazines and a partially constructed bomb tripwire, after obtaining a search warrant earlier this month. In addition, they found one assault weapon in the manner of an AK-47, for loaded 9mm semi-automatic ghost gun pistols, two of which were 3D printed, and over 600 rounds of ammunition. A 3D printer, more equipment for building the ghost guns, three sets of body armor, several notebooks with instructions on making explosives, and anarchist literature were also discovered by the police. The hit list, scribbled on a piece of paper, mentioned cops, judges, politicians, and celebrities, as well as corporate scum and bankers cum, along with the messages, wipe out the scum and wipe out the earth. Police were so concerned about the explosives that they wanted the entire building on 36th Avenue, which is across from a power plant, to be evacuated before they would enter the brothers' New York house. The two men lived with their mother and another brother, neither of whom are facing charges. Queens District Attorney Melinda Katz said in a statement, the city is safer. We cannot measure the number of lives that were saved, but we do know that these weapons will never hurt anyone.